Hey everyone, in this video I am going to share you some of the tips and tricks in order to get the most out of your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Uh, it also helps the device perform faster as well as give you more extra battery backup. So just follow this video and make sure you watch till the end so that you get all the information properly. And if uh, in case you are new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Also hit that like and share it with your friends to help support my channel. All right, guys, let's get started then. So the first thing you want to do is go to settings here. You will find advanced features. So just scroll down. Here's the advanced features. Just tap on that and here you will find reduce animation. Now this is one thing that you want to do if your mobile is often getting hanged or say it's just laggy so much of lagginess is there if you are switching between apps often so I recommend you just turn this on reduce animation basically it tones down the motion effects inside the mobile uh, it's just a user interface experience that will uh, change and it will actually perform really faster once you enable that so right away uh, just go to the advanced features and enable this reduce animation and here as you can see just as I press this back instant quick so everything is very very quick here settings boom there you go fast as fast as the device can get just tap on this one as you can see very little animation but it gets the job done very fast so I highly recommend you enable this reduce animation that's the first setting the second one is inside the developer option so to enable developer option what you have to do is go to about phone inside the settings and here you should find software information here you should tap on the build number uh, like five times then the developer mode will be enabled so where you'll find developer mode is again inside the settings if you scroll down all the way you'll find developer options here so just tap on that now here's the trick that you need to change uh, this will ensure you fast performance as well as increase the battery backup uh, so inside the developer option the first thing you want to change is the animation scale so just tone down the animations even further so that it uh, reduces lag as you can see there is window animation scale transition animator duration scale so all this you just switch it to 0.5x by default it will be 1x i'll show you for example what happens if i keep 1.5x okay so i'll turn down everything to 1.5x and you will see here the animation if i take back it takes couple of seconds like fraction of seconds even more in order to get that animation done see as you can see as i press the developer option it's taking a while to actually show up so to avoid all these silly things just i would suggest you uh, change the windows animation as you can see how late it gets as a tap on this one to perform that animation so just animation scale turn it to 0.5x you can also turn it completely off that doesn't hamper the performance it actually boosts your performance as it doesn't have to render the gpu in order to get that animation done so just turn these three to 0.5x or just turn this off and as you can see if i just press back how quickly i can switch back applications as you can see i'll switch to another application boom there you go as quick as possible so just tapping recent apps icon twice how fast your mobile is as you can see home button just tapping to recent as you can see even the ram management gets enhanced so this is the basic thing you need to do the next one is again here inside the developer options so inside the monitoring this is developer options inside the monitoring you find strict mode enabled so basically what it does is if there are any application that's running for more than recommended time by the uh, user interface itself then it will actually flash the screen showing you that some app is consuming a lot of battery as well as ram then you can go ahead and turn that application completely off you can force stop that particular application so that's why you can enable strict mode enabled here right now i have disabled it because there is not really many applications that i have installed unknowingly so basically if you have got plenty of applications installed in your mobile phone i highly recommend you enable this strict mode the next one is limiting the background process again inside the developer options you have the background process limit this is basically available in a lot of phones you can go to developer options and you will find this background process limit even if it's not the samsung even if it's not the galaxy note 9 so what you have to do is at most i suggest you use two processes that means 
there won't be any applications running in the background more than two applications this will actually boost your battery backup a lot you can go ahead do it for yourself and test it and then come to this video write me in the comment section down below it helped you this much so at most i suggest you keep it to two processes again it's personal preference you can keep it to four processes if you are switching between the applications a lot and you are using a lot of applications uh, let's say you don't use many things except for calling purpose so i suggest you just keep it to at most one process that way uh, there won't be any background applications running and it saves your battery as well as a lot of performance boost the next and the last setting that i'm going to show you is inside the settings again so let's go back this is the settings we are in so here you'll find device care now samsung has uh, given this in one ui it's very nice working as you can see it automatically detects optimizers for you and gives this option just tap on the optimize now it tries to uh, scan for the viruses it tries to scan malware applications it even boosts the battery because if there is any app that's consuming more battery it just forces stop that application so again as you can see now the device is optimized to uh, 100 so here's the battery it gives me real time information 9 hours 30 minutes battery left storage how much is left memory you can go ahead and tap on memory and instantly clean the memory similarly you can do it for the battery as you can see which application is using more battery you can just tap on that go to that particular application and force stop if it's consuming a lot of battery so basically here you will know what is the application that is using more battery uh, than you might have imagined so power mode is optimized i have kept it to optimized you can keep it to high performance if you want a quick performance of operation like if there is a lot of lag that's happening you can switch it to high performance so i suggest you keep it optimized so that the device itself optimizes properly so i hope this video helped you in performing your mobile faster so just go ahead and do all the settings that i have showed you in this video and let me know in the comment section down below how much it has helped if this kind of video helps you hit that like button don't forget to click on that subscribe button i also share it with your friends guys so i have also made several interesting videos about this galaxy note 9 if you haven't watched that you can uh, just watch it browse through my videos you'll get a lot of mobile tips and tricks related videos even mobile photography related videos as well so guys this was it in this video i'll see you in another one till then take care everyone bye bye